I understand the the intent behind the language. Mm -hmm. It's just the problem is I think it's confusing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's confusing our identity and it's confusing what it is that we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. All right, welcome to the Church Dropout Podcast. My name is Alan. I'm joined by Lisa. Church Dropout is a podcast. We talk about issues, topics, and teachings related to faith, life, and culture in ways that are sometimes funny, sometimes serious, but always insightful. If you have not already, please like, rate, and subscribe here on YouTube. We would appreciate it. Drop a comment below. Keep the conversation moving forward. So, why are you smiling? <laughs> Cause I just, when I hear you say it, I'm actually saying it in my head. So you're going to be ready to do it? No, because every single time I try to do it, it don't sound the same. Well, you got to try it though. No, you got that down. <laughs> I, I can't even. <laughs> like I say, is please like, rate, and subscribe. <laughs> and then I'm done. <laughs> you sound nervous saying that. See, exactly. Exactly. I mm -mm. think you'll be fine. I think you, you are on yourself. Mm. Um, so a few months back, there was, uh, some conversations that were happening online where there was a, a Christian artist, a Christian hip hop artist who, um, who ended up, who did a song with a secular, uh, a person who's a secular singer. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I guess they got together and wrote the song, all this type stuff. And, you know, people were upset because here you have a Christian artist who's doing a song with the you know, a non-Christian. Non mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, we could talk about that, you know, but I think there's another conversation I think jumps off of that conversation, you know, the conversation of whether or not Christians should be doing music with non-Christians and all of that type mm -hmm. of stuff. Mm -hmm. But I think there's another conversation here that I think, you know, that gets missed mm -hmm. within that, you know, whole idea. Part of the issue that, you know, uh, people were saying was like, you know, how can this person you know, talk about things of God and all this type of stuff, but live a different lifestyle and, you know, all of that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the, re you know, part of the response, um, for, uh, the person, uh, uh, part of the response that the artist had gave was, you know, um, you know, this person let them kind of express their worship and their good words and this, that, and this. And, mm -hmm. But the conversation I think gets missed here to me is, you know, honestly, like, what is worship? Mm. Okay. I, I, honestly, what is worship? Mm -hmm. Because part of the problem is, I think, a misunderstanding or misidentification of what biblical worship is. Mm -hmm. Somewhere along the lines of church mm -hmm. and history, worship became identified with singing and music mm -hmm. and so we identify that as worship yeah you know mm -hmm. and so we say people who are singing about god are worshiping mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. that's worship mm -hmm. and i think that's part of the missing conversation or that's a missing part of the conversation because i think you know if we identify what worship is then i think that'll clear up clear up a lot of what that communication should be mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. You know, do you mm -hmm. want to say something before I continue? No, 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 no. I, well, my only thought is like, when did that happen? You know what I mean? I wish I kind of, you know, knew the history of when, when did song, you know, come into worship or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I mean, as far as music and, you yeah, know, I can, I can answer that for you. Um, you know, in um, 13 AD BCE, when, um, you know, um, Pilot Franklin. I already <laughs> was. <laughs> I already knew you didn't know when you said, "Oh, when you cut me off so quick." When you was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, I, I know." Yeah, no, you don't. Yeah, no, I, but but I agree with you. Like me too. Like when you look throughout, you know, the history of the church, mm -hmm. you know, this is definitely something that's more modern. I think it's it happened when the church became more established mm -hmm. as in relation to the building. Mm -hmm. I think, really, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. you know, probably somewhere around. Uh, you know, the, the, you know, Constantinian, you know, building of the, the organized mm -hmm, church and mm -hmm. Catholicism and different mm -hmm. things, the ritualistic mm -hmm. idea of what yeah. church is, where worship became associated with 
with music. Yes. Yeah. You know, um, and then as Protestants pulled out of that, you know, again, you know, worship, music, singing. And now, now don't get me wrong. Like, I, I okay, n- let's put it like this. I think at least English, and mm-hmm. it's been a while since I looked at this, but at least English in the English translations of the scriptures, I'm not talking about the original languages, but in the English translation, there's something like maybe worship is translated like maybe 250 times, mm-hmm. you know, in the New Testament or something like mm-hmm. that, let's just say, mm-hmm. or, or in the scriptures, right? Mm-hmm. But I only think a few of those are actually named in conjunction with music. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and and by that, I mean, just you'll see, and this is in the scriptures, not just the New Testament, but by that, you may see praise and worship. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And I think that's intentional, mm-hmm. the not bringing together of those two things. Yeah. I think overwhelmingly yeah. uh, in the Bible, worship, especially in the New Testament, is is associated with not what we talk about or what we sing about Mm -hmm. but it's always related to how we live Mm -hmm. always Mm -hmm. almost always related to how we live Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. you think of pivoted pivotal passages uh you know like in romans you know 12 Mm -hmm. right you know uh you know present yourselves as living sacrifices Mm -hmm. holy and acceptable god which is your reasonable act of of service or mm-hmm. worship worship yeah <laughs> right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um that it's the giving of ourselves uh that determines our worship mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and again somewhere down the line worship has become you know what we do in a service mm-hmm. you know what I'm, mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. um even we even call it a yeah. worship service, service. Yeah. right yeah. and i know we're including everything within that yeah. we're saying the acts of kindness that happen are acts of worship. I agree with that, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We're saying what we're offering to God Mm -hmm. is an act of worship. So Mm -hmm. the singing is an act of worship Mm -hmm. or the preaching and all of the things that we're doing in that environment is Mm -hmm. an act of worship. But Mm -hmm. I just think culturally, when we think of worship, Mm -hmm. people are thinking about singing. Mm -hmm. They're thinking about music, Mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And and when people are offering their worship, it has nothing to do with how they live. Mm -hmm. It has everything to do with what they're singing about mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. what they're saying yeah you know what i mean yeah. and uh you know and i just you know obviously i think that's you know it, it's part of the reason why this conversation gets so convoluted and why we can't challenge certain ideas mm-hmm. you know what i mean because you know when it comes to whether or not a christian should be doing music with a non-christian um you know we got to define what worship is first before right. we could even enter into that conversation. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Two people could be doing something, but, but two people could be doing something that's very similar, mm-hmm. but okay. Let's look at a biblical example of just like, um, Cain and Abel, mm-hmm. like in terms of both of them were offering, you know, their worship to God, but only ones was accepted. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And, um, now to the human eye, that, that may not be as, uh, discernible, mm-hmm. right? But God accepts worship that's based upon not what they're saying, but based on what they're doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, so I, I'm saying that to say like, because it, if you would think I'm saying with, I'm sorry, but then mm-hmm. what you're saying, worship would be before you go to church, worship would be during the week, worship would be, you know, right yeah worship uh, worship would be what we what we're bringing yes yes um, yes not not necessarily you know what we were re- receiving our offering is us mm-hmm. it's our life mm-hmm. it's who we are mm-hmm. you know so when we're singing a song we're we are affirming mm. what the what the song is talking about mm. mm-hmm. that's what makes it worship mm-hmm. what makes it worship is is that this, I agree, this song, I agree with what this song is saying Mm -hmm. in word and in deed, Mm -hmm. and I'm offering this to God. Now, if a person is not living, living a, it was not living that out, and I'm not talking about just the acts, I'm just talking about a person is not committed to Christ in that way, Mm -hmm. then, then they're not offering any any worship to God by singing those things. Yeah. You, you understand what I'm saying? Right, like, you right. know, it's, it's words. Mm-hmm, and and mm-hmm. I'm not saying that in a negative way. I'm just saying like 
worship in the scripture is never outside it's never not attached to how we live mm. it's always attached to how we live mm -hmm. you know what i mean and yeah. so you know um yeah you got people who are singing together and and this is where i think the danger could be because again I, I, this is that's a larger conversation mm -hmm. i i you know the the line between secular and sacred and you know like i'm not i'm not that guy i don't draw hard distinctions between you know secular and sacred in terms of, i think god owns all of that mm -hmm. right you know mm -hmm. what i mean and and i think we got to be careful how we associate with it right right but at the same time i'm saying like yeah but when we start talking about worship the bible saying something very specific mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's saying something very 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 specific yeah um, and what it's saying is always tied to uh, what's being given and where it's being given from. Mm. And if those two things aren't in line, then then we have a problem. Yeah. Are we actually worshiping? Yeah. Right. Are we engaging mm -hmm. if if what's on the other side of that worship is not being lived out or being um, honored? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not the giving of oneself, if it's the giving of one's word, then that cannot be considered worship, at least not in scriptural terms, at least by what the, even the New Testament would call worship. Hmm. You know what I mean? I think it's very important for us as Christians to really, really, really look at this word mm -hmm. and really pay attention to what it means and what are what we're doing you yeah. know what i mean i i remember going you know growing up you know it's not knowing what worship is you yeah. know what i mean but you know thinking you know seeing people falling all out you know what i mean mm -hmm. when yeah, i mean i'm just being mm -hmm. real and i thought you know in my mind that's part of worship you yeah. know what i mean and and so if i'm not falling out why like why am i not falling out yeah, you know exactly. what i mean am i am i not good enough to worship you know what i mean is worship just yeah. for certain people yeah you know what i mean yeah and so um yeah, yeah that's, that's that's good I, that, and that's a really great example because that's the way we classify like you know you hear worship leaders up there all the time here we go with the worship leaders mm -hmm, right like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but you're worship leaders up there all the time and they're just saying like well now we're worshiping mm -hmm. well no we were we we should have been worshiping yeah, right like yeah. like um you know, uh, you know, again, it's just I understand the the intent behind the language. Mm -hmm. It's just the problem is I think it's confusing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's confusing our identity and it's confusing what it is that we're supposed to be doing. Yeah. 100%. You know what I mean? And so when we when we call everything worship, mm -hmm. then worship has no meaning. Right. Yes, right. And I yes. think there's a fear for us to say, well, that's not worship. Mm. Well, we if we don't if we stop calling everything worship, we wouldn't have to engage in that conversation. Yes, that's it's not good. worship just because someone is saying something about God. Right. Right. It's not right. Because if that worship is inconsistent with what they're saying, mm. then God is not receiving that worship. See, and that's where the problem is. Mm -hmm. You understand, I'm, mm -hmm. you know, like like because God doesn't want our words. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like he, he doesn't want, you know, what we say, you know, it, it, that's not what he's he's after. Right. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And mm -hmm. so he doesn't want empty um, obedience, mm -hmm. you know. And mm -hmm. so, like you said, like we just got to change the terminology. Like I said, like I grew up thinking again that I I attended mm -hmm. a worship service mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. I go here and I'm receive. you know, the, the leader's going to lead me into worship. Yes. Yes. Right? yes. Yep. You know, um, you know, without really realizing, no, like that's not how it works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, th yeah. th that's not what it is. No, yeah. I am worshiping mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. daily mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by the fruit of my works mm -hmm. and by the fruit of my my uh, deeds. Mm -hmm. um, that is worship. What I'm offering to God regularly mm. is is worship. Mm -hmm. What I'm bringing to God, yeah. and, and so. Um, I think we do. We need to we need to change that and look at it again. You know, again, I, I it's been a while since I I did a study just on this specifically. But you know, when the word worship is used, it's usually used in conjunction when it's re relating to music. Mm -hmm. It's used in conjunction with praise. Mm -hmm. Praise is 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 you know is the words. Yeah. Worship is the wall. Yes. You know. Yes. Um, yes. You know there there's a there there's a distinction there that I think needs to be made. It doesn't mean that worship can't include music. Mm -hmm. It's just not solely music. Right. And, mm -hmm. that, and I think that's where we get, you know, caught up. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. So. Yep. Bring it on. <laughs> you want to do the outro? All right. So please like, rate, and. <laughs>
All right, we're going to reset. Reset. Okay, okay. Hmm. End scene. Or was it? Start scene. Something scene. Okay. <laughs> Please like, rate, and subscribe. <laughs> Drop a comment below because we want to hear everything that you have to say. Keep the conversation moving. Um, and uh, we out. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> I had to walk you through that bad boy. <laughs> you up here looking at the camera. You couldn't be a president and nothing like that because you couldn't look at the teleprompter and talk. Mm -mm. You up mm -mm. here. Mm -mm. You like one of the people on them cheap commercials that be looking over here and the cameras over there. You should sign up for this life insurance today. It's really helpful. And they're, they're looking over. You can tell they're reading. Hey, that's why I don't, I don't, I don't sign up for nothing. I know. I'm, mm -mm. Yeah, but no. you fine, babe. It's just no, not that big of a it's, deal. It's your, this is your thing. This, this, this light, red, like, no. rate, subscribe, intro, outro. That's all you, boo. Mm -hmm. It's all you. Lord have mercy. Here Nobody can do it better. Here we go. Flattery. <laughs> Got it from my mama. <laughs> so did. <laughs> All right, y'all. We out. Good night.